like to make one thing clear. I did not want to make this film. All the other people, they all outvoted me. All, all my colleagues, they said, well, let's make a road movie. And I said, God, no. See, I'm an experimental filmmaker. That would undermine everything that I stand for. They had in mind to make this film without any substance at all, without any danger, without any essence to it, and, and an impotent little piece of celluloid. Of course, they prefer to use the term entertainment value. Great shots of mine. I'll tell you about them at the audition. Right, splendid. I'll see you then. Hello, Sam. How are you? Uh, stable. Wonderful. What are your impressions of the script then? Well, you know, it's pretty good. Thought provoking. Maybe certain parts could use a little improving. Oh, really? I uh, really rather fancy this as being the final draft. Ah, oh, not too sure. Well, then, out with it. What's your critique? Okay. Well, in the first place, I don't want to be picky, but... Well, I'm not being picky. Do you realize that all the characters in your film are male? What was that? Look, protagonist. Michael and Jordan are both male. All the antagonists are male. I mean, everyone with the line is male. Um. All right, um, you'll be playing the part of Michael and you'll be playing the part of Jordan. Now, in this scene, uh, you're in a VW bus, right? That's a Volkswagen. Cool. And you're on your way to the Yukon. And on your way, you pass through a town which has been oppressed by an evil rockabilly group. <laughs> Stirring with a little substance. <laughs> yes. Uh, so without much further ado, um, let's give it a bash. Uh, actually, it would be really helpful if you could just call action. Um, it sort of helps me get into character. Right. Um, whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, anytime. Okay. Action. You uh, ever notice how small towns are always trying to prove their worth? Oh, God, I'm sorry. I think you're going to have to do all the driving tonight. I am so tired. I mean, I've driven across British Columbia before, and uh, every time you enter a town, there's always a sign like, uh, Welcome to Kamloops, Tournament Capital of BC, or uh, Lytton, River Rafting Capital of BC, Hope, Chainsaw Carving Capital Little Man Syndrome? Of... What's that? Oh, uh, oh, nothing. And cut. Great. Brilliant. Uh, absolutely smashed. Um, well, I, I don't think we have to look any farther. I mean, basically, you've both got the part. <laughs> That's great. Awesome. Thank um, you. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. You can keep those copies of the scripts and uh, go through them. Any questions, just call. We'll, um, what else can I tell you? We've um, got a great crew and 
I think uh, we'll be shooting in mid-November. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, is there any way you could change that? Uh, I'm totally sorry, but I've already committed to another project in November. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I really want to do this one. In fact, it's it's a much more exciting project. But uh, the only problem is I've already said yes to them. Yes, that, that is a shame. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I'll see what I can do. Great. Thanks. Roll sound. Speed. Roll camera. Rolling. By Bravo, take two. Action. It's uncanny. Every station is playing rocket belly. Yeah, well, I think they like that stuff up here. Where are we, anyhow? Litton. Litton, yeah. B.C. Check this guy out. <laughs> Let's give him a lift, eh? Oh. Uh, ex excuse me. Hello. I, uh... Uh, my name is Blanco. I, I am just uh, recent to Canada. I like it here very much. It is a very big country. <laughs> Again, my friends, I must thank you. It is very nice for you to stop by me. It, it is a very Canada thing to do. I like to travel. It's a very big country. Very big. I like. Scene eight, take three. Mark. Action. Well, I mean, he's got to learn to compromise. I mean, last year we made an experimental film. <laughs> what fun is that? And uh, there's no market for that kind of product. Now, this year we're making a film where we can all benefit. And he's even getting a chance to direct again. I mean, it's a film that uh, it's a lot more accessible to the public. Now, I don't necessarily understand why he finds that so terrible. She left in such a rush. No time to give all my love. The moon, show me the way. But I'll come back again. Go again, lock it up. Roll sound. Speed, roll camera. Mark it. 10 Charlie, take two, Mark. Action. Wait and see, Taylor. I'm gonna ditch this little town. I'm gonna make it somewhere. Cash Creek, maybe even Camps. I'm gonna up and quit my grocery job. Somewhere. Hi. Think I could get a refill? Sure. I'm. Uh, do you have the toilet? Oh, it's through the kitchen in the back there. <laughs> but you'll need the key. Oh, thank you. I. It is a very nice thing for you. Where are you from? Where are you going? Ah, 
from Vancouver and we're on our way to the Yukon. I've never been there before and I'm kind of into checking out the wilder parts of the country. Oh yeah, no kidding, huh? Me too. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah, yeah. It seems uh, pretty cool around here though, eh? Yeah, yeah. But it's deceiving. Yeah. Well, that's a nice place to drive through, you know, a nice place to visit, but it's like any other small town, yeah? Once you got your roots there, you want to get out, you know what I mean? Along with gas, it'll be nineteen dollars and eighty-four cents. So, uh, you're not too fond of the place anymore, eh? Mm -mm. Know it too well. Typical small town. Well, it's got its quirks. It's, it's got its quirks. Yeah, I'll say. What's with the radio? Every single station is playing that god awful rockabilly music. You have no idea how things are run around here, do you? I mean, you have no concept of how things are. You should have said that. I mean, I bet you, you could think it, but you don't say that. You realize it is inevitable now. Cut! Who's goddamn... Uh, Ralph? Is it Ralph? Improvisation is wonderful. It's the heart of an actor. But stay within the realm of the script, Ralph. This, this, uh, it's inevitable now? What's inevitable now, Ralph? What? Yeah, thank you, Ralph. Okay, let's go again. Lock it up. Roll sound. Speed. Roll camera. Rolling. Mark it. Well, more on take two. Cut. Could we have someone else do the slate, please? You see, it's not that I have anything against narrative, per se. It's just that it's so confining, isn't it? Unless you adhere completely to the script, and then you underline every single little plot point, the audience gets all confused, and they don't know where they are. I mean, take, for example, the scene with, with Jordan and Michael when they leave the diner and, and they don't have Bronco with them. I and mean, we didn't get that scene. How on earth is the audience ever supposed to follow the, with any sort of continuity the scene that comes next? Scene 14A, take one, Mark. It is a very big country, Canada. There is Ontario and uh, Prince Island and Chilliwack. Very and big. Alperba. It's a very big country. Canada. Uh, Saskatoon. Like Canada. Uh, big. Uh, Newfoundland. And... Do you know? Where's the car? Nobody pays attention to sound anymore. Everybody always waits on the precious camera crew. And whenever there's a problem with the sound, uh, on like a location, or with the film camera, then they all look to me like it's my fault. And they say, deal with it. Well, when we get to post-production, and it's all over, and everything's f***ed up, then they turn back to me and they give me this real hurt look like, what did you do? Glad that we are making a narrative film this year. I absolutely despise experimental films. I mean, last year, he had me editing a humanitarian piece on the bombing of Nagasaki, Japan. Great! But with sporadic images of Vancouver? I mean, last term, all I ever did was decontextualize, recontextualize, decontextualize, recontextualize.
it going? music lots of it What do you think? I... I don't like it. It's... Well, it's anticlimactic. Well, of course it is. So I want to avoid the ending that people feel comfortable with. I want them to feel as though they've been deprived of their sensationalism. Maybe they'll even question what they've come to expect from modern cinema. Yeah, sure. But did you ever consider that your idea doesn't work? I mean... I don't think that this notion of anti-conventionalism actually conveys itself to the viewer. They'll leave just thinking it's a boring film. I, I agree. Look, I think your idea is cool and all, but we just didn't capture the essence of it. And now we're left with an ending that is, well, it's half-baked. <laughs> half-baked. I see. So you both feel this way, do you? Yes. Well, that's bloody marvelous, isn't it? I mean, why didn't you tell me some of this in pre-production? When I could have used it. I mean, now, frankly, it's too late, isn't it? I mean, now you're stuck with a film that's got a bit of depth to it. Well, actually, um, we did take some extra cutaways that, that day you had to leave early. Yeah, um, if you don't mind, we'd like to show you our variation on the film's ending. Oh, my God. Well, show, show. Remember, this is only a suggestion. And action. Hey, we've got problems. Well, you can't be serious, but they look so comatose. Oh my god, can't you go any faster? What, are you kidding? This is a 1978 fully cap wire standard four speed. They've got a 1975 five speed with a stick shift extension. What? I can make it. I 
can make it. You know, I did not want to make a road movie. I wanted to make an experimental film. But I was outnumbered, wasn't I? No choice, did I? You said, oh, oh don't worry, go ahead and, and experiment and we'll work it in later. Now that I've worked it in, you won't stand for it, will you? No, not a bloody chance. And me, I've got to put up with Sync sound, continuity, makeup, catering, and bloody actors. Oh, and cinematographers and editors. Oh, yes. But I don't need this. I'm an experimental filmmaker. What an ass. Hey, look, look, try to hang in there. We've just got the sound cut left to do, and then we'll never have to deal with them again. No, I know, but I can't take it. I've worked my ass off in this pigeonhole for weeks. I've tried putting my heart into it, but every suggestion I make, he shoots down. It doesn't matter how rational it is. Yeah, I know. He's got some pretty brutal ideas. But what can we do? I mean, he's the director, and unfortunately, he's got the final say. Right. If it hasn't occurred to you, we are graduating this year. I don't want to have to go out into the real world with nothing to show that I'm proud of. What about you? Your best shots ended up in the trim bin. He was fundamentally opposed to them. I mean, he said they were too polished. Well, there's always graduate school. And cut. Okay, that, that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Great. Good. I like how... Uh, hey, uh, what do you think of your performance? How do you feel about it? Okay, great. Well, that's take. It's a wrap. Let's break it up. All right. Okay, cool, guys. Let's go. I don't want to make a road movie I'm an experimental filmmaker No need for sync sound No need for catering Act as our father So is continuity Unionized crews and big budget suck I'm an experimental filmmaker I don't want to make a road movie I'm an experimental filmmaker And roll camera. Speed. Mark. And action. Hey, how's it going? You guys keeping warm? Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. I got a question for you. Like, uh, did you write any like lines for me in, in this film, or? Uh, yeah, like... that's, that's the thing I was thinking about. It would be it would be great. I know you asked about it before, but if, I guess the problem is we like to think of you as like this dark, ominous force, and I don't know what lines would really work. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll really try. Uh, uh, there's, there's gotta be something. I'm sure it'll work. Well, hey, whatever you can do, man. Yeah. Okay. That'd yeah. Well, well, in a bit. Right on. Thanks. Yeah.